Welcome back, everybody, to Perion Galactic Survival on Alpha 10.5. Project Eden, I'm an old guy gaming. And, uh, as usual, my curiosity's got me sidetracked from <laughs> my mission, uh, which is supposed to be to go back to the planet and get ready to go uh, back to Tostra and uh, do some salvaging and hit the derelict vessel. Uh, but this uh, smuggler stash here has turrets on it, and so I can't really get close enough to it with a capital vessel um, and I, I even set the, the turrets on the capital vessel to hit enemy turrets, but they they weren't firing on them. So what I'm going to try and do is see if I can hit them from the jet. Uh, they're just sentry turrets, so they're not like, you know, really bad nasty turrets. Um, so I'm I'm in, in range because I've got 500, 550 meters on these Gatlings. I just, it's really hard for me to see where the actual turrets are. I think it might be there. Let's... Get a little closer. Yeah, it's, it's very difficult to see exactly where they are. Uh, oh, you know what? We don't have very much ammo left either, do we? I think, you know what? I think it's actually this thing on the front here. Okay, good. Yeah, so it was uh, it was up on the front there. Let's back off just a little bit here and uh, make sure there's no space drones. There's, there was a couple of space drones floating around here that I uh, took out. And I just want to just do a quick repair here. Because this ship is not designed to get hit. It's not supposed to be getting hit. <laughs> So I just want to make sure it stays in good condition here. Okay, so we hit we hit a turret from the top. So let's come let's turn this off and come at it from the top on this next little pylon thing madoodle over here. Good. All right, so we got that out of the way. Now I'm assuming that we also have turrets on the bottom of these. Can I hit them from here, maybe? Beautiful. And then this one, too. All right, I think that's it. Hopefully those aren't also explosive blocks. <laughs> There's a lot of loot crates on that little platform there. Um, I don't think they're explosive blocks because... Yeah, they already had the turrets on them. I'm just taking a, a quick look on... Oh! Damn it! <laughs> Son of a bitch. Um, all right. So what did I miss? Is there like another switch just like there was on the last one? Remember, this stuff is all new to me, you guys, so don't laugh. <laughs> I'm trying to figure this out. Wow, okay. Um, I was hoping all I had to do was take the turrets out, but obviously there was more to, more to this than that. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Well, it didn't destroy all of the crates. It destroyed the loot crates, but not the normal storage crates. Oh, we got a drone, too. Okay, let's, um... Let's deal with this drone. We gotta be careful, though, because we do not have a lot of ammo left. Where'd it go? They kind of pop in and out of of radar range. Hmm. I don't see it now. It's it's around, I'm sure. I just don't know where it is. We saw it when we were over near the platform here. There it is. 
Uh, okay, so that's a plasma drone. And it's off this direction. Let's see if we can get a visual on it. There he is. Something just sent him for a, a tailspin. Oh, there's another one too. See, they don't show up on this map though, but I see he's on my little mini map in the upper right hand corner. See, I just lost him now. Where'd you go, you little bastard? No flux coils. Oh, I was gonna look and see how much XP I got for that kill, too. Um, alright, well, I'll tell you what, let's go back to the capital ship. And we'll bring it over here and we'll just see what's in those crates. The ones that survived. Okay, let's hop out here and we'll connect to this guy. We just gotta keep our eye open for that drone. Let's see what we got. Alright. Just gonna be basic stuff probably. Yeah, just basic stuff. All right. Well, I wonder what the trick is with this one. Like, is there a switch somewhere that we could have turned off? I figured all we had to do is blow out the turrets, but obviously that was not not correct. You have chose unwisely. Just let's get our our uh, multi tool out and just see if it tells us. Yeah, see, those are just combat steel blocks. Yeah, I don't see anything. If there was a switch, it probably was destroyed in the explosion. Alrighty. Okay, guys. Well, uh, now I am going to go home. <laughs> uh, and get back on track here. Uh, there is one other thing we could do, though. And that's just take a quick look at this wreck up here that I marked a long time ago. At the time that I marked it, I hadn't, uh... Uh... Are those more Pentaxid asteroids over there? I, at the time that I marked it, it was right when we... right after we had first gotten here and I wasn't really equipped to, uh... do anything with it. Oh, you know what, though? That's on the other side of the planet, isn't it? All right. Wouldn't that be crazy, though, if there was, like, a deconstructor in there for the taking? Do we have any cores on us? Uh, yeah, we have three cores on us. All right, I'll tell you what. Let me, let me just fly over there real quick, and we'll just take a quick peek at it, and then, uh, then, we'll, then we'll head down to the planet and get uh, ready for our trip. Okay, so we are here. Let's uh, take a quick look, see at this thing. I, ne I never really looked at it closely when I marked it. I just kind of marked it and figured we'd come back to it later kind of thing. 
Just make sure there's no nasties around. Okay, so this has a bunch of jennies on it and a core down there. What else do we have? Some fuel tanks. And then just the steel blocks. Um, there's stuff here. Fusion cells, okay. A little more fuel there. So it looks like the only thing this really has to offer are the generators and the fuel tanks. I don't think we get Sathium out of those. It's an alien faction core. I don't think I'm going to try and take these whole. What are we doing in our factory, though, actually? I haven't looked at that recently. I think we're working... There's two things we're working towards. We're working for... Uh, towards, rather, JJet version 7. Um, so, let's see. What do we need? Silicon, copper, carbon, cobalt. Oh, right. Okay, it was the arrestrum and the zascosium that we needed. And we, we may have the arrestrum now, but we... We haven't found any Zask in the wild yet, because it's supposed to be towards the inner solar system. So, all right, let's, uh, excuse me, guys. I'm really tired. Ugh. Can't you tell? <laughs> uh, let's go ahead and salvage this, and I just want to see what we get out of it. Yeah, so that doesn't, that's not going to give us any, any near, but we'll get the parts. The parts are light, so that's all good. What's this? Oh, I must have missed that one. Okay. How much fuel is in here? 358. Alright, then we'll just grab those. I think that's it. I think everything else in here is just a steel block, as far as I can tell. But, you know, four generators and two fuel tanks, that's pretty good salvage loot. Okay, we are finished here. I'm going to remove this from the POI list too. Okay, so I'm going to head home. There's our island right there. Uh, put some, Do some inventory management, get some stuff put away, harvest some crops. Basically, just make preparations for our trip back to Tazra. So I will bring you guys back when we are ready to make that happen. So I'll be back in a bit. All right, guys, we are back at the wreck site in the Tazra system. So I think what we're going to do is let's just take a quick peek in all of the actual wrecks themselves and just see if we can spot um, either an advanced constructor or a deconstructor. We're not going to find one on the small vessel, but that small vessel does have quite a few thrusters on it, so if nothing else, we could, um, you know, salvage those on the way back. So let's check out this, uh, this guy here first and see what it has inside of it. Do have to keep our eyes peeled for drones. Well, lo LOL level out, even though there's no level in space. <laughs> All right. So I've got three cores with me. I probably should have made a couple more just so we could uh, um, put them down and just look at the list rather than look the hard way. But okay. Yeah, darn it! I should have I should have made more cores. I wasn't thinking. I was 
Too busy harvesting my garden and getting the inventory management stuff done, I wasn't thinking. Uh, all right, so we're just going to have to visibly look. Uh, we might as well connect to you. Well, whatever. That's just furniture stuff that we don't really need. Let's get this out. So this is the lower deck. Got an elevator. Not really seeing much on here though. So I didn't wanna didn't wanna waste a core on it. Yeah, I don't think there's anything on this, man. It's like pretty much gutted. Gutted out. We could get the elevators and the antenna. There's a wardrobe. Okay, so we got a jetpack boost. Let's just salvage this stuff. I don't I don't think I need to get the blocks whole. Yeah, we'll hit the antenna on top and then we'll move over to the next vessel. Okay. Yeah, if there's anything else on here that's worth grabbing, I know I'm not seeing it. I am not seeing it. There's a hidden chest there. There's probably a super secret valuable loot chest on here somewhere. <laughs> you guys in the commerce are like, oh no, guy, it's over there. But uh, yeah, I don't know where it's at if it is. Let me know though. Uh, in the comments, if you uh, happen to know where there is a secret on here that I'm missing, just for next next time around. Uh, I don't see anything. Okay. Let's go ahead and check out this other larger wreck over here. Let's move closer to it, though, in case a drone shows up. We'll fly our cap capital vessel closer to it. So it looks like this guy's got um, some thrusters still on. Ooh, thrusters and turrets. Nice. That's, this one's probably going to be worth putting a, a core down on to see what all it has on here. I'm thinking. This is the same type of ship that we explored in the other system that had the, all the aliens on it. So in fact, it's the same exact ship. It's really just a matter of does it got all the stuff on it, though, you know? Um, and I'm not even sure where the core of this ship is is this refrigerator my guess is it's probably going to be up here towards the bridge maybe well, wait a minute does it even have a core here let's um no it doesn't even have a core okay uh so let's grab one of these and we're just going to put it down any old place it doesn't really matter so much let's put it right there Okay, now let's take a look at the device list here. No cockpit, no generator. We got some cargo box. Okay, we do. Oh, look at that. We have an advanced constructor. We need that. Like, big time need that. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Okay, so um, I think this is probably in the front of the ship equipment. Armor lockers. I'm just trying to see if there's a deconstructor on here, too. That'd be amazing to find both of them. Um, a deconstructor 
I'm not sure what category that would fall under if we had it. Lots of lots of thrusters. Oh my goodness, look at the thrusters on here, you guys. Nice. Food processor, fridges, fuel tanks. A bunch of lights, a couple of O2 stations, ventilators, Tech 2 RCS. There's a lot of good stuff on here. A lot of good stuff. Um I mean, theoretically, from what you guys have told me in the comments, we can actually fly this thing and take it and actually, you know, well, fly it. <laughs> uh, I don't know if I want to do that, though. I mean, it would take one hell of an effort to, to repair this thing. I think I would rather put that time into... You know, getting our own capital ship spawned in. It's I, I think it's really neat though that you even that you can just do that, you know, if you wanted to. Okay, well, um let's see here. Let's see here. The advanced constructor was one of the things that we really, really badly needed. And in fact, with it, um, we might, well, I don't know. I was going to say, we might be able to make a deconstructor if we come across enough flux coils. Okay, this is an advanced constructor here, right? Yes. That's a beautiful thing to behold. Beautiful thing to behold. This thing's going to weigh a lot, though. So what we have to do is... Uh, let's go ahead and retrieve block... Okay, where did that go? So that went into here. It's 60 tons. So we don't have a definitely don't have to worry about the volume on it. Uh, but the weight is a different story. Is there any food in here? Well, not any food that we can have. This is like thruster heaven, man. I'll tell you what. You know what I think I'm going to do, though, you guys? Um, in my... Wow, look at all the crop plots, too. Sweet. In my uh, vanilla series, if you haven't been following that, uh, I am in the process of building a hauling vessel. It's, a, it's going to be a CV, but it's built... Uh, it, it, the whole purpose of it is so that it can haul a bunch of weight. So it's basically going to be like a freight truck. And once I get that built in vanilla, I'm planning on spawning it into Project Eden as well. So rather than try and make multiple trips hauling all this stuff back in our warp shuttle, I think what I would rather do is just, you know, leave this here and we'll come back to it once we get the, the hauling vessel in and then we can, you know, swoop it all up. So I think that's what our plan is going to be. I want to... Marked. Well, I guess we've got the little SV marked, so I don't think we need to do anything else. Let's let's take one final look here, though, at the stuff. So we got cargo boxes. See, this is all just going to be components. We might as well grab it now, though, since that stuff doesn't really take up any weight to speak of. Uh, one bad thing, though, is th I was hoping for a, t a tier two multi-tool. Uh, one bad thing, though, is that since we do own this now, uh, we could get Space drones coming by shooting at it, which we really don't want. Yeah, it's. We don't. I don't think that's worth the risk. So I think I'm going to take the core back off of it, and we'll just put a new one down when we're ready to come back here and um, actually loot it for realsies. I think that's what we'll do. So let's pick this thing back up. Uh, but getting that advanced constructor was huge because that was a, a major goal uh, that that I had, you know, that I wanted to to accomplish. Super, super cool. Okay, so let's see. There's a couple other uh, wrecks around here. Let's just go look at them real quick and see if there's anything else to them. So we know that that one's not doesn't have anything but there's the two below us 
and one kind of above us. Uh, no, wait, what the hell is that? That looks like a meteorite or something. Yeah, so let's go check out these here. I have a feeling like these are probably just going to be more empty hulks, but let's just look at them real quick so we know for sure. Yeah, this kind of looks like the same same scenario as the uh, as the other one we looked at. Not really anything worth messing with here. I'm sure there's there's probably some hidden loot containers, but like I said, I don't know where they would be. It's a multi -bo boost, Bo boost. We'll just look real quick here. Nothing. Nothing really of note in those thingies. And the other ship, I thought we found like an armor locker up here with a booster in it. Maybe it was on this other side. And maybe not. Okay, so let's see. We got that guy. There are... There's, I thought there was two more. back up just a little bit it's probably must be those yeah it must be those two guys because uh, that honestly looks like the same thing yeah I think that is the same situation as before All right, let's take a peek inside this one. Because this one's a little different than the other ones. Camera's getting all wigged out on me. Oh, that's kind of cool looking. Like a little docking bay of some sort. Detox kit. All right. Looks like that's about all there is to this one, eh? Just not not seeing anything in there. Oh, this one doesn't even have a core, huh? Nope. Let's try to see if there's anything hidden in here. Really, timer? Spoiling our fun again. Okay, well, we um, we did good. We did good. We really pretty much accomplished what we came here to do. And that was find either a uh, deconstructor or an advanced constructor. And we found an advanced constructor. And we have both the big capital ship and the original small vessel ship with lots and lots of turrets on it that we can come back at some point and salvage. But I want, like I said, I want to have my, um, uh, I want to have that hauling vessel when we do that. So. Because, you know, we're only going to be able to carry so much stuff in here. One thing we could do, if we wanted to, is we could... We could start the quest just so we know where the derelict vessel is. So if we, ever, if we wanted to do that at some point, we could. 
Um, let's see. Let's get a little closer to the station. I believe we can resume that quest for just, you know, from where we left off with it. Okay, so we've got to get up to or over to this thing. And if the mines blow up, they blow up. They really only seem to self-destruct on themselves. They don't really have an explosion radius, or if they do, it's very, very small. I've never been damaged by one of them. That doesn't mean there isn't a first time, but... It's, it's more alarming than anything, because... <laughs> super loud explosion. Case in point, right? Um, We didn't take any damage from that, did we? No. Okay. Here, let's blow this one up, too. Just get it out of the way. Okay, I think that's the doorway there. Um, I'll keep you with me just long enough to get to the derelict. So, let's see. We got to go in through here. And we want to go here and go to solo mission and enable here. Okay, so yeah, we're basically picking up where we left off. So they're basically, well, I just talking about um, how you know we find this weird alien growth stuff on here. So we have to um, pull the lever, and then what that does is that opens up something else. What's that open up? I think we have to pull this lever now. Okay, and then that opens up this door over here to pull this lever. If you guys have never seen this quest before, I apologize, but, I mean, I've done it like three or four times now, so I wasn't really planning on actually doing it other than just to find the derelict vessel. Um, so, if you are in, if you have never seen it and you're interested, just look up um, uh, Solo Mission Chapter 2 on YouTube, and there's going to be plenty of people that have it. And actually, I, you could even, if you want, uh, I went through this mission... Well, I, I went through it in Alpha 9, and I did it again in 10, but it was kind of bugged for me. In, well, it was bugged for me in both cases, but um, it was really bugged for me in 10 because the derelict vessel was glitched inside of an, the asteroid field. Okay, so... So anyway, like I said, I apologize, it's, uh, but I'm not planning on actually doing this mission in, ter in terms of taking you through it step by step. So just, you know, look it up on Google if you're interested in how this actual mission goes. Or if you want to see me do it in Alpha 9, where where I went through it all the way through, uh, just let me know in the comments and I'll find that video for you and, and put it, give, send you the link. Okay, so, um, really our main goal in coming here is just to find the damn thing. So, uh, we are located right here now. So let's do a... A bookmark so that way we can come right to it uh, if we want to do it later on so now somebody was one of you guys were telling me in the in the uh, comments that you found a deconstructor on this ship I don't know if I don't remember exactly what was said but I don't know if, if they took the ship over, you know, they cored it and, you know, it was already in place, or they found it in loot. So, you know, I am interested in trying that out, but that, you know, that's going to be an, another episode at least. This ship takes a while to get through. It's, it's quite large. So let's go ahead and teleport back to our ship. And guys, we're going to go ahead and wrap up the episode here. Uh, so I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Share out the video and uh, leave a comment. Those things do help and I do appreciate it. And uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to head back uh, home with our large constructor. Get our large constructor put in, put down. 
and see um, you know what we can do. Uh, one of the first things I want to do with it, of course, is I want to make a. a yeah. <laughs> I want to make a tier two. Um, multi tool. Um, because we've been using a tier one ever since we got blown up from the Polaris, and it's a pain in the ass. So I want to do that. Um, I thought about going back down to Tazra at some point too, because there's still a lot of POIs that we could loot. You know, with our with the gear we have now, we wouldn't have to worry in our food. We wouldn't have to worry about survival anymore down there. But uh, <coughs> excuse me. The downside to that, though, <coughs> in my you know in, in my mind, anyways, is there's so much more you know to explore here in Project Eden. You know, and we've barely scratched the surface. So I'd almost rather go someplace new and try and find that than back to you know that hell hole that we were at. But at some point, I am looking forward to coming back and salvaging these ships, too. We're going to get some good stuff off of those ships, and that's going to be fun uh, to do. All right, guys. We'll catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye.